Hello and welcome to Guitar Gear Gyan with me Sahil Jagtiani where we talk about all things related to the Indian Guitar Gear scene and today we've got a mega mega acoustic guitar unboxing thanks to our friend Siddharth from Soundglitz who's lent me five guitars for my upcoming reviews. Uh, these all will be reviewed individually and let's get unboxing and show you what I've got before that. Make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. Okay, so first up, we've got a court. Don't take me to court. Court. I'm not liable. Uh, enough PJs. Let's open it up. See what's inside. Ooh, that was a big one. Nicely packed. Nicely packed. So I asked Siddharth, I said, you know, give me some nice acoustics to review. And he said, man, try this court out. It's nice. The, this is the SFX, if I'm not mistaken, this one. Uh, all right, let me take it off nicely and put it back nicely. Oh, these things have to go back. Okay, so there's an extra saddle. There's an extra bridge pin. And there's uh, another Allen wrench in this. Okay, uh, let's open this fellow out. Let's see this beauty. See the beauty. Ooh, nice. Don't want to rip the packet because I've got to put it back in there. Oh, wow. That looks amazing. Look at that. Okay, let me take this off. Inspection card. All right. Check it out, boys and girls. Look at that lovely guitar. Wow, it looks amazing. So it's just 33,000 rupees, uh, the CTSE. What does it say? SFX MYR TL Wood. Myrtle Wood. Okay. Nice. Looks good, huh? Check out the back. Looks just as beautiful. Looks amazing, huh? Hmm, not seen one of these style guitars before. See what the action is like at the start. It's quite high. Of course, it's not in tune. Hello, it. Musical open chord. Anyway. Uh, nice uh, uh, mother of pearl. Uh, is that Abalone? Yeah, it could be whatever. Um, I'll check it out online and let you know. These are the nice tuners from Court, I remember. I had a Court many, many years back and these tuners were quite responsive. Interesting. Where is it made? made in China, crafted in China. Yeah, I think Cortex uh, got a factory in China and Indonesia. Primarily, I think they were Indonesia, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, the Fishman Precis 2 is on this. Nice, not bad, not bad, not bad. We're starting off to a good unboxing, man. Hmm. I like it, I like it. All right, second up, we've got uh, the, what is this? F280 uh, natural. I've actually already reviewed this guitar um, and then I gave it back. I think I borrowed it from somebody else and backed up. Oh, it should be opening up. But I've got to see if it's in a good condition or not. Let me see. It should be okay. Wow, this thing's not opening. <laughs> Come on. Open, man. Open sesame. There we go. So if it's not open sesame, then maybe they could use another condiment like uh, open cardamom. No? Okay. Anyway. So like the other one, this is got, oh, I did ulta. Interesting. Oh, they might have put it ulta. Uh, all right. It's got your acoustic guitar, Yamaha acoustic guitar. What we got in the box, in this bag, this beautiful bag, we've got a F280, beautiful, beautiful guitar, beautiful guitar, nice, 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 it's for 6,980 rupees, according to Soundglitz, made in India, yes, correct, made in India, you know, anyway. So the reason I've got this is, is because I have the FS uh, ATC somewhere lying around and um, I'm going to compare this with that and give you uh, a fair made in India comparison and maybe 
maybe uh, I've also got an F310 lying around somewhere. Um, it's got to do, it's got to have a special cleanup. So once I've done the special cleanup on it, I'm going to uh, review this one. I don't feel like removing this uh, nice string covering right now. I'll do it later. Let's get on to the next guitar. Next up, number three, the Epiphone. What's inside here? What's inside? Wah! Open cardamom. Yes, you can do it. Yeah. Zoom. Okay, this is nice. So they've protected the headstock like the other ones also. Very well packed. Impressed, man. Impressed. Yim impressed. Nice packaging. You can see here. We've got a we've got a manual of some kind. What does this say here? I want to see this. It's interesting. It's just got pictures. Is it a poster? Oh, it could be a poster. I'll show you the poster, man. Ooh, look at that. Poster, man. It's a poster. Check this out. All the Epiphone electric guitars, acoustic guitars, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, acoustics also as well. Nice. Hmm, very interesting. Cool. This is nice catalog. What else comes? You got your Fishman on board sticker. You got some paperwork. Where is the the Allen wrench? Is somewhere around? I think. I'm sure, it must be here. I'll see it later. Yeah. Is it? Mm, I'll find it. Anyway, I will look for it later. And but I will first get this guitar open for you people. Oh God. Okay, there we go. Gently remove the dress. Gently, very gently. Okay, and we've got for 51,999, what is it? It's the EJ200 Coupe. Is it coupe? It flew the coupe? Or is it a coupe? Isn't it a coupe like some kind of a car? I don't know if you know. Any car which has the word coupe in it. Leave it in the description. Write it out. Write out the model number. Why? Just for fun. Is it in tune? Of course not. Okay, first impressions. Something's rattling inside. It could be the Pop Rocks. Is it the Pop Rocks? No, man. It looks like something interesting. Ooh. It's now you've it's piqued my interest. It's not a pocket, it's not a bag of pop rocks. It is a piece of paper. Okay, maybe it was like one part or something that went underneath. I don't know where it's come from. How does it look? How's the finish? The action is high to the sky on this one. Huh? It's like really high. The action? Well, the action is okay. It doesn't look that bad. It's a slight Ubo. But Jesus, man, this is like uh, high. Nice tuners. This is not bad. Made in Indonesia, yeah. Grover tuners, of course, Grovers are good. Gold Grover tuners. You know, I've always wanted an EJ uh, to showcase on the, you know, on the channel. But um, this one's quite small. It's like smaller than this fellow. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Slightly small. <laughs> yep. It is smaller. It's smaller. It's smaller than a GA. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I always thought the EJ would be huge and the EJ Coupe would be slightly smaller, but this is like smaller than a GA. So, yeah, maybe one day I'll review uh, an EJ as well. Finish looks nice. Guitar looks pretty amazing. Beautiful color. Um, no finishing flaws. Neck is quite nice. Uh, fretboard looks 
beautiful as well. Hmm? Uh, could do with a little bit of moisturization, a little bit of oil, F1 oil. Also, this bridge needs a bit of F1 oil. It looks a little dry. Hmm? Fishman Priestess too, like the others. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Now, uh, the next is actually already unboxed. It's here because they had an open piece. They didn't have a, a, a boxed piece. Let me just put this here. Do, 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 do. There you go, Mr. Coupe. Okay. And let's check this fellow out. This one's in tune. Nice. This is the Sire. Uh, a3 natural uh, D5, DS, yeah, it's DS. So it's a dreadnought shape. I don't know if it's a if it's a solid top or not. If you know if it's a solid top, uh, leave it in the description below. I'm probably going to do. I'm probably going to look at the specs only when I review the guitar. It's got a volute. It's got non-branded tuners. It's got any S's on them? No, nothing. So, and where is it made? It's made in Indonesia. Hmm, interesting. It's got a, a tailor thing going on over here. Huh? So that's interesting. I've been wanting to review uh, the Sire guitars for some time now. I'm, uh, uh, I'm a big fan of some of their, uh, you know, budget range electric guitars. I've seen a few of them on uh, YouTube. Uh, been wanting to get one on uh, the show. I'm probably going to get a couple on the show as well later. But uh, Siddharth had a, a Sire acoustic, so I just jumped at it, the La Larry Carlton uh, uh, model. Um, so how do I feel about the action? The action is like superb. This action out of the box is... Whew. I wonder how much is it, like 50,000, 60,000 bucks maybe? Oh, I'm going to check the price on this one. This one's got me peaked. It's got my interest peaked. Nice, nice. Look, look at the finish. Look at the finish of this guitar. Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so, uh, you know, the end of the meal, the dessert. The dessert basically is like the icing on the cake. So this is one heck of an ice cream sundae, I would say. It's the, the big mama, the big mama. The one I really wanted to check out, it's a, it's a premium court acoustic guitar, that's all I'm going to say. And it requires a cutter, let me get my cutter. <laughs> so that I can open it like butter. Man, let's open and see what's inside. And dun, 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 dun. Okay, so inside the box, is there another box? No, there's this beautiful covering piece. And mama, mama. We've got this, it's like a semi-hard, soft baby. Stay, stay, stay. <laughs> All right, so this is one of those uh, blues reunion style bags. We've got one of those also, those are very nice. Definitely harder than your uh, Taylor soft, semi soft, semi hard case. Nice, nicely padded. Okay, let's see what goodies are inside first. Any goodies? No goodies. They, they want me to lose weight, they're not giving goodies. This is weird. Alan Wrench, look at that man, it's like a V. <laughs> it's quite interesting, huh? Nice. And we've got one extra bridge pin. Okay, so we're on a goodie diet, I guess. Ooh, look at this. Looky, 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 man. Looky, 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 what have we got? I've got a D6, baby. It's a D6 and it's got a little bit of dusty, dusty. It's a little dusty, dusty. What is this? It's like a drum. <laughs> They've covered the sound holder. Protecting the sound hole. Okay, better not do that. I'm gonna have to take this out for the review. But boy, man, this looks nice. 
Anyway, let me get this down. Let me show you this guitar. How much is this for? It's for 48,224. Ooh, look at that. Check it out, check it out. It's light, huh? It's not heavy at all. There's the back. Ooh. It's got some kind of signature on it and all. Nice, decent. Okay. Action, high to the sky. In tune? Of course not. So this, I'm pretty sure you're going to have to uh, sand this bridge. It's nowhere near as uh, playable as the Sire. It's got a volute at the back, so you can see. It's got some interesting tuners, man. These Grover tuners. Oh, no wonder. Grovers are really good. Very responsive. Nice. I like such tuners, you know. Just a little bit of a turn and goes a long way. How's the, how's the nut been cut? Nice. Nuts cut very well. So basically the only thing that's high, I think, is the is the saddle. So you're going to have to, if you, if you buy this guitar, you're definitely going to have to sand it down. There's no harm, see, because you can always lower the action. You can't raise the action unless you put like, you know, kind of a shim underneath that. So this is nice that it at least gives you an option to, uh, uh, you know, adjust it to your liking. But for a beginner, it's a pain. That's all I'm saying. So let's take this funky thing off. Can I we'll put it back on after I'm done with the reviews, of course. So, hmm, no shaking going on. That's nice. So this is this is one I think without a, a pickup, huh? Yeah, no pickup on it. It's just a acoustic guitar. So so you're paying. Paying premium amount for the fit and finish for the woods. Let's check the rolled. Nice. So this is quite a good quality instrument. I would say um, if you get the action sorted out, I think it's quite beautiful. So yeah, so these are my initial thoughts for this uh, video. Um, I just hope you enjoy the journey of all these reviews that we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to be releasing the reviews, of course, in the upcoming weeks individually for each of these, uh, uh, you know, guitars. Um, I think I'll do the D6 separately from the SFX. Of course, I won't do them together. Um, this deserves its own review. I might not sand this down because it's not my guitar. So, you know, I don't want to mess around with it. I want to give it back as I got it. So I will, uh, uh, you know, just maybe condition the fretboard a bit and, you know, uh, do a straight review for it. But yeah, all in all, um, I'm quite impressed by some of these guitars under 50,000 rupees. Some of them are pretty nice. And yeah, I hope to see you in the upcoming videos where I review each of these. Hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you press that like button, click the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. In order to promote our videos on YouTube, we require a lot of interaction from you guys. So your comments, your shares and your likes all do help. Also, if you want to help us in making more videos, become a member on GigZ. Our GigZ page link is in the description below. We've got courses and a lot of other stuff also on that. Um, we're on social media. Make sure you're following us to stay up to date with all our latest activities. And above all else, make sure you stay safe by taking steam, washing your hands and wearing your mask and rock on.